here we want to combine the charting indicator together in a port recently because uh, looking at the chart can help you to see the indicator uh, more easily and uh, uh, looking at the number the indicator is not really may not be very indicative okay so here first thing we want to show you is the SMA chart so here you can see the green line is the price and the blue line is a uh, short run SMA and the red run is a long run SMA sometimes people will say the long run the short run uh, SMA cut from below to above then you start uh, the rising trend goes on on the other hand if the short run drop fast and long run then you start uh, uh, you will start a downward trend looks like fitting uh, this diagram but Let's see how we draw this. Is the first line is simple. It's a line chart here. Know, know it. And here we have a add SMA, right? And then an SMA here, and uh, and another one. So it is a 30 day SMA and 200 day SMA. I have called the blue and red so you can recognize. But let's see how actually be implement. You can draw it here and zoom it so this is more clear. How this being drawn your volume here. One you can restrict the time, hear it into more finer one, and then you can see here. Okay. So another one is I add EMA, same except I have EMA. So let's draw it directly. So uh, SMA now in EMA. And you can see almost the same chart here. Okay. Um nothing new but uh how year may be in drawn. Um, now we have a BB bank. So then this one looks in more interesting because uh, you can see the bank width, the red one, and also we have the uh, middle line, the moving average lines, and you can see whether when it's uh, drop out of the bank width, bank width, or when it drop out the channel, or when it's not. Okay, and it's twenty days. D is a uh, and division usually you have two, right? So that's how we have the standard uh ringer bank. Let's draw it here. Okay, and zoom it. Okay, so it's more clear uh what's going on. Now now let's try the other style is momentum. And momentum you cannot uh easily draw the same graph because momentum is a difference of price, right? So you cannot easily draw the same not the price you cannot easily draw it here, so that's why he add something in the middle down there. Okay, let's see the code. You run it. Momentum. You don't see the price anymore. It overlay here. Okay. Uh, it's less clear, but you can still see when it's positive, when it's negative. Still somewhat useful. And the next one is real return. is similar thing as a seven day real return. is similar. I can just uh, quickly show you. It's cool. So this is uh, the ROC curve. Okay. And uh, the next one is uh, MACD. Okay. MACD, you have a fast and the sig uh, in the snow line and the uh, and the uh, signal line. So here you see this. Uh, uh, maybe maybe I show you in the uh, oh here you run this sorry you run the whole thing so here is the price here and you can see the uh, uh, white line is the MACD line and the signal line is the uh, uh, the red line right usually we know we said uh, if the uh, signal line is actually the moving average of the MACD, right? So that's why we can we want to see whether signal line pass through MACD from above or below. But sometimes you can easily look at whether uh, it's uh, positive or negative. So that's why he gives you the difference of two lines uh, in the bar form. So you can easily check when it's, when it's above, when it's below. It's easier. Uh, the last one we want to show you is uh, RSI. So again, you cannot plot in the same same uh, 
device, you have the separated uh, the RSI chart. But we know the cutoff is 30 and 70. So you look at it from the graph. So let's show it again to you. So I have RSI, it is based on the EMA type. We can see the you can see when it's below 70, when it's uh when it's above 70, when it's below uh 30. Okay. So you can eyeball and see when buy or sell, but still eyeballing actually gives you some idea. Uh, of how uh, the price move with the uh, technical indicator. Thank you for listening.